Baymax is back in the all-new Disney Plus animated series, Baymax, so let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and streaming services. If you guys are like me, you guys are in the right spot, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Baymax, the inflatable healthcare companion, sets out to do what he was programmed to do help others. A while ago, Disney announced that they were going to take some of their most recent Disney films and turn them into Disney Plus shows, like Big Hero 6 and Zootopia, which has a series coming out later this year. But I really was excited for this because I like Big Hero 6. It's a great Disney film. And Baymax is a very iconic Disney character now. Very adorable. Love the character. This series focuses on what he's programmed to do, and that's help out others. But it's only six episodes. And each episode is like eight or nine minutes long. So it goes by so quick. Within these six episodes, we see him help people that are experiencing joint pain, allergies, and their periods as well. He's able to help out many different people and he's very determined. We see that in the Big Hero 6 series and how he was so focused on one thing. If that was his job, he had to focus on that. And we see that within this series, within like the nine minutes of each episode, he comes across someone who needs help. It might be Hero's aunt who stumbles and sprains her ankle and so he's there to make sure that she's taken care of. He can scan them, he can see what is wrong, he can help them out. There is some new upgrades to Baymax, which is cool to see within the series, is able to scan people and he can play videos on his screen, he can play videos on his stomach. There's so many new additions to this character, which I really did like. But within these certain episodes, we see him develop this relationship with the people that he is helping, which helps out with that last episode, that sixth episode. Everybody that he had helped comes together to help Baymax. So we see like these small relationships develop within these nine episodes. He is very persistent. They want him to kind of take a step back, but the more that he is there, the more relationship develops throughout that episode. And it's genuine. I think it works for what it is and it's very short, but it's also uh, heartwarming at times as well with the people that he is helping out and then seeing how and seeing how they can help him at the end of the series and that relationship that grows and how he's helpful to the community and even though he's persistent and he may be annoying to some people he has good intentions and he wants to help out and i love that the people kind of accepted that and they loved working and they loved having baymax around the animation once again looks great. This city that Baymax lives in, uh, the different uh, techniques that he has, different settings of the schools or the city or the cafes, it all looks really great. Honestly, it feels like it's an upgrade from that Big Hero 6 movie. With only having six episodes, I think they were able to really focus in on that animation instead of having it be like a 24 minute episode, like an eight episode series. They wouldn't be able to focus on that animation too much. But since it's a short series, they're able to make the animation look the best as it could for it being a six episode series. There's humor in it as well. The typical Baymax humor is there. Uh, he's kind of like that fish out of water and uh, he's not aware of like social interactions. He just has a job. He wants to help people regardless of what it is. He wants to help people and that's what he's programmed to do. But that humor is there and the humor is also there when people are seeing how persistent he is and he will not give in. There's some jokes surrounding that. The only characters that we see from the Big Hero 6 films are Hero and his aunt as well. They only appear a few times within the series, but it's focused on Baymax. The title is Baymax. It's about what he's programmed to do and that's help us. I love that it was also a little educational about joint pain and how you can help with that and allergies and your period for the first time. I think there's gonna be a lot of things that people could relate to within the series, old and young as well. It has the right intentions on what it's trying to do, both educational and funny at the same time and trying to make it relatable for anybody watching this series. 
So the Baymax show, it's fun. It's short as can be. I do wish it would have been a series that had a developing story and we had several episodes, longer series. Uh, it makes me worried for series that are coming out based on Disney property like Zootopia. I'm looking forward to that series, but if it's just like this, I want a little more. When I was when I saw how long each episode was and how many episodes, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed. I wanted just a little more, a developing story. But what we did get was honestly what he was programmed to do, and that works for what it was. Maybe a couple more episodes would have been great. Maybe make it like a 10 episode series with each episode being eight or nine minutes, I think would have been just fine. But the Baymax series, it was educational, it was fun, relatable at times, and I think there's a lot in here that work. Baymax was adorable, once again, the animation was great. It's a very short series that's easy to get through and fun to watch with the family. So before I give you my score for the new Baymax series on Disney+, Plus, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie-related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit the subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give the Baymax series a B. Thank you guys for checking my review for the new Baymax series on Disney+. Plus. Have you guys seen these six episodes? Let me know in the comment section and stay tuned for more up-and-coming content like this. My name is Just Watch the Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.